Monday morning video. Race dogs racing around, ice everywhere, ghost sheets all over the place. It's like a haunted house here. I took the sheets down already. Then you say, "Come here, bud. I gotta go round bud up now." He's over there by the uh, by the, the stone little, wall. Chipmunk. And the cats are probably. So welcome to another happy week in America. Here at Bedlam Farm, we're focusing not on the news, but on the life of our animals, our That's donkeys, right. our dogs. And we're gonna have uh, you just lecturing me on. Being calm in the week of my surgery and being spiritual and being meditative. That's right. I told you. I'm going to take your advice as I always listen to you. You know that. I thank you for listening to me. And I always do what I'm told. Is that not true? No, that's not true. No, no. Let's not have a little spat now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to be nice. Come on, bud. bud. Yo, bud. Bud, bud. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Yeah, good boy you are. How about a treat? Sit down. Look at you well-trained little monster. You stuck out the door. Come here. (laughs) <laughs> He's not that well trained. <laughs> Let's go back in the house, though, bud. Good boy. Jenny, you stay here. He was a good boy. Hi, Zinnia. Let's go visit the chickens. This is like wildlife photography. Through the lilac bush, we view the wild chickens. You know, I think they're just getting ready for the winter. They've been hiding out in there all week. I know. I think they're hearing something that we're not hearing. Well, I, I, think, I think they, they are. They up and watched the news and they said, oh shit, I have to go into a bush. Now, what did we say? A what? What did we say we were going to have I'm a spiritual very, I'm very week? Calm. I'm very placid. We weren't going to be doing too much news. I, did. I haven't been doing any. You haven't been doing any. You write about you wrote about it twice yesterday. Oh, well, there's lots of stuff going on. I know, I, have, I know. I have my obligation to my readers. But you also are having the surgery, and we need to have a nice spiritual week. And you're <laughs> going to read your Mark Nepo, and what's his name? The guy on the hill. What, the guy, the in, guy the in the mountain. Oh, so Tom, Tom Merton. Thomas Merton. <laughs> Tommy, what's his name? I read some Tommy Merton. <laughs> Let's go visit the donkeys. They're very spiritual. All right. All right. By the way, this is our second attempt. Our first video was pretty flat. <laughs> and whose fault was that, John? We said, hey, this is kind of black. Let's go ahead and do it again. We did. So maybe you're not in the mood. I said, I'm a pro. Put the camera at me and I go. I go, dog. I could do this by myself, <laughs> but you would have none of that. No, I would have none of that. Monday morning video. It's the only video I'm allowed to take. Faith, get the sheep. Go find the sheep. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Rosemary. Look at everybody scattered around. Hey, go get the sheep. Hey, she's off. Look at that dog. You would really think she knows what she's doing, wouldn't you? <laughs> she goes with purpose, with instinct. You good girl. Faith, go to the sheep. Zinnia, run around in circles. Come here, Zinnia. So, Zinni, you young lady, so everybody missed one of the highlight moments of the Bedlam Farm year. What's that? My wife sitting down with Zinnia on the back porch and discussing her, her heat, her period, and having a <laughs> woman's conversation, which I listened to. And it was very touching, very poignant about how this was going to change her life, how she was going to probably only have this once, so she was therefore much luckier than you. Yes, yes. A little bit of bitterness in there, I thought. Well, I said she won't have all those little puppies hanging off her teats. That's not a bad thing. I didn't hear that part. But <laughs> <laughs> and she listened pretty carefully. For she did listen. She did listen. And now she's ready to chase yeah, she's the ball. happy. Fate, get the sheep. And we got a whole bunch of diapers for her, which you don't want to put on. No, it's humiliating. She hum- sort of she was humiliating. So I got more coming today from Amazon, so we're going to have diapers to do. Well, we'll we'll, uh, we'll give them to Petco. We'll put them in the free bin. <laughs> we'll give them to the vet. The vet, the vet will like them. Okay, we'll give them hey, to the vet. to the sheep. <laughs>